So, moral of the story is be careful of who you employ. <laughs> like, it's one thing for them to know how to do the work. It's another thing for them to be loyal. That woman is not, she's not loyal. And I used to think that. So, I just checked my subscriber list and we are very close to 600 subscribers and that is very encouraging because I haven't been consistent and that has motivated me to want to show up here more often and um, there are a few things I'm going to do that is going to make this joining simpler for me and I hope it encourages you to number one i'm not going to wait to have a topic to talk about before i come on here and start vlogging for youtube i'm just going to take you guys along for whatever hap is happening in my life at the moment so whether it's a photography gig it's just i'm um, going to market to shop to cook sharing my view sharing where my mind is at at the moment sharing my experiences i'm just going to be very organic <laughs> about this next phase of my youtube journey so that being said um another thing i'm not going to do i'm not going to be so worried about is the views whether a video gets three views or it gets five views or it gets 100 views or um 300 views i'm not going to put out about all those things i'm just going to whip out my phone when i <laughs> want to vlog vlog pull out my mind and edit it and put it out there whether the views come or not because i think i just want to be consistent irrespective of what um what the views say because i have a feeling that there are people that need i have something to offer to my community to my world and even if it's just one person that comes across this video later on in their life whether it's three years later or ten years later or tomorrow when I post it then I have done my part so I'm not going to be so about the views how many views how many comments then carrying the link to share on my social media platform I'll do that but maybe just when I post the video so you know that a new video is out but then aside that I'm just going to go with the flow I want to reduce the amount of pressure I put on myself and I think a lot of you should do that too because I mean if you have something to say just say it do you understand like don't wait till um, don't allow the number of views you're getting to discourage you from sharing because I've I, I, I subscribe to YouTube channels that don't even have up to 400 subscribers just because I like the kind of content I connect with their personality and all of that and all of those things so it goes to show that you don't have to have a lot of following to make impact in, on people's lives do you understand so just share and take out the pressure um okay so tomorrow is saturday so i'll take you guys along my day i'm going to be cooking i'm going to be doing a little physical activity i'm going to be going shopping and just all of those things so i'll take you guys along all of that and in between i'll talk my experiences what i'm thinking and all of that and so let's see how it goes so i hate washing this kind of place because of how greasy it is but then i will show you guys how important these plates are for me that's why i can't just throw them away so tomorrow i'll show you guys what i use it for morning guys This is how I'm spending my Saturday morning taking a walk and um, from here God these walks are really therapeutic and good for my mind I know it benefits the body but my mind is really enjoying from is really enjoying the benefits of this walk uh, 
beautiful. All right. <laughs> okay, so I and Hobby do this every Saturday. We just walk around. He's jogging today because it feels like but most of the time we just walk. So adding that to the normal exercises I do every every week. That's like three times a week, three to four times a week of doing a physical activity. Okay, so this is all from here. Yeah, I'm going to go home, shower, and probably head to the market later. I want to make a fuck soup. <laughs> Alright guys, see you later. <laughs> that walk was exhausting. Like I got home and I just wanted to lie down in my bed and just chill but i have a lot to do today like i told you guys yesterday sorry i talk very fast so sometimes i just the words just come out <laughs> so i have a lot to do today so i cannot even do, i cannot even allow myself to to chill so i'm making breakfast while breakfast is cooking i made the sesame seed milk guys i'm lactose intolerant so i can't take anything that has dairy without having acne breakouts and all of those things so i avoid milk i avoid chocolate that has dairy i avoid everything that has dairy sometimes i take them because i like them and i face the consequences like what happened um some weeks ago when i just had to have a lot of yogurt and this is the this is the result so i've called my afang customer i'm making afang soup today by the way my favorite soup in the whole wide world i always argue with hobby hobby likes atama soup and i like afang soup atama soup is like is what Igbos eat as ofuaku but they don't put the atama leaf they use i think normal scent, scent leaf or something like that so he likes atama i like afang and we're always arguing which soup is supreme but when I make the afang soup, it always comes to struggle with the afang soup with me. So I'm like, you know, afang is king. Like, let's stop this argument. So if you are, <laughs> if you're an afang soup lover, let me see in the comments. Or if you're an atama soup or ofaku or banga soup lover, let me also see in the comments. All right, guys. So um, if you want this recipe, I'm going to include it here. For those of you that are on a plan this are on a plant-based diet or you're lactose intolerant or your body reacts to dairy in a very bad way you should try sesame milk um i hope i pronounced that right it's very easy to make it has a lot of protein and it has seven times more calcium than milk like guys come on that's like nutrient overload do you understand so um it has a slightly bitter taste though and you can sweeten with dates or maple syrup or coconut i think next time i'm going to make it with coconut i think it's going to taste better than just making it like this like that's the good thing about talking like that idea just popped like the coconut can help tone down the bitter the bitter aftertaste and, and make it a little bit more creamy <laughs> i'm excited all right guys so let me not talk too much i don't want this vlog to be too long i'm going to i'm going to shower I know I know whatever I'm just going to go to market wearing the same things I wore for my work let me just overuse the outfits and all of those things not really that like I, why do I have to shower when I'm going to go to market and people are going to it's not really a clean place so let me just go and then <laughs> when I'm done with the cooking for the day I would now shower a warm bath and now enjoy my afang soup. Oh. beyond exhausted if there's anything like that yeah bought everything i wanted to buy and then for some reason i forgot watermelon which was on the list 
Okay, I didn't I didn't make a list, which is why I forgot it. It was on the list in my head. Um empty everything I bought and prep everything and then get ready to cook. I am exhausted but I need to get this meal out of the way so that I can eat and rest. But I'm going to eat something bubbler with with stew while I'm prepping all the meals. Prepping all the ingredients. Why do I keep saying prepping all the meals? When I'm prepping all the ingredients, I'm going to eat bubbler with and stew. So this is cabbage for my meal and I got two packages while I was upstairs so I had to come down to pick them up and then I got ready to watch a movie while eating. Who else doesn't like to eat without watching a movie? So this is my meal and the worst thing happened guys. I was so happy about watching the movie and eating and then mm, three minutes since the beginning the series because it's not a movie, it's a series. They took the light. Wi-Fi is gone and I'm back here watching a series with my phone. I cannot use my phone. My phone data has to connect to the laptop because that's suicide. Like MTN just takes all of my data. So I can't even try it. So mm. oh, guys. This meal is very nice. One of my favorite fishes in the whole world is mackerel fish. So I made this mackerel fish too. I'm ha I'm having it now with the burglar wheat. It's so nice, so nice. Like I'm not even kidding. Remember when I told you I'm going to show you what I use the bowls for? Well, here we are. So I'm done cooking. And finally, 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 done, done, done. So I've packed up the soup into bowls, taking them to the freezer. And I think this is what I call it a day on this vlog. I'm so exhausted. It's been a long day. So, oh man, this acne is really bad. But you be like, really tell me to stop taking dairy. God, I like milk, man, and yogurt and everything that has dairy in it. And I know I shouldn't take it because, I mean, see my face. It's bad. Ah, I tried sesame milk. I didn't tell you guys. It was really nice. I tried it with um, chanola. That's like chia seed granola. Running a business in Nigeria is not the easiest thing I'm telling you guys so there's this new salon that just opened like it's very new I think about the month close to our close to our house and I wanted to make my hair once the hair was okay it was good straightforward and everything but I think it's owned by a younger lady and she employed this older woman to just like to assist her and everything so a few days ago i think it was yesterday even i was coming back from getting stuff and the older woman approached me and she's like um you want me to come and do your no she said i can come and do your hair if you don't want to no she said i can come and do your hair at your house for free for you and i'm like ah, it's not me to be dragging me to your salon you're not looking for a way to take away customer and then it was the way she was talking like whispering and saying it like and um, she came very close why does my phone keep going down i'm using these plates as my tripod <laughs> please you should not embarrass me so she was not like if you want to make your hair can come to your house and make your hair for you you don't have to come to the salon i was like hey this new salon that is not even up to one month old you now it's gonna employ someone that is already looking for a way to take your customers away because i feel like it's wrong do you understand like you're working with somebody you should be dragging like taking customers there not trying to take them away from the place and also the first time you met me was in your employer's salon do you understand it doesn't mean that you're older it doesn't it doesn't like you're older yeah i get but it doesn't matter there's still some ethics that you have to follow in my house and do home service and then put the money in your pocket 
So, moral of the story is be careful of who you employ. <laughs> like, it's one thing for them to know how to do the work. It's another thing for them to be loyal. That woman is not. She's not loyal. And I used to think that women that were older were more well behaved and put together. But, I mean, that's not the case, man. Imagine you employing someone that is just having intention of taking your customers to do work on her own and make her money. She doesn't say anything wrong with it. Because the way she was telling me, like it was a normal thing. Alright guys, so this vlog should be dropping on Sunday. That's tomorrow. Or on Monday morning. And um, on this note, enjoy the rest of your week. If you have any questions or any comments i enjoy reading from you guys a lot this is so encouraging you have no idea so i'll take some time out and answer the remaining questions on my other on my last video <laughs> where i talked about why i have been inconsistent guys if you haven't watched that video please go and watch that video and um i think this is all thank you all right guys enjoy Enjoy the rest of your week.